Hi everyone, hope you're having a great day. Today I wanted to talk very quickly about what you should do with the finances immediately once you've decided to split up. So with respect to the, your bank accounts and your credit cards, do you own joint accounts or are they uh, sole in your name? If they're joint, it's really important to shut down any joint bank accounts or credit cards and open up new accounts in just your own name. You would like to think that most people are reasonable in a time of divorce, but unfortunately sometimes emotions take over and people do things that are not the kindest and so you need to protect yourself. So if you own a joint bank account, for example, and the other person decides to empty the bank account or even brings it into an overdraft position, you're on the hook. If your name is joint with them, they don't have to replace anything. All the bank knows is the two of you own this bank account and somehow that bank account needs to come out of that overdraft position. You want to protect, protect your credit history. Similarly, with credit cards, the same thing can happen. That person can run up all kinds of bills and if they decide that they're not going to pay off those bills and it's a joint credit card, you're on the hook and you want to again protect your credit history so one of the first things you should do just to prevent any risk maybe your partner is actually quite reasonable and there's no issue that could happen but just in case it's always wise to cancel anything that's in both of your names and take out new credit cards open up new bank accounts that are only in your own name that you have full control over and you're not wondering if there's a risk for you the other thing I want to talk, to talk about is your will. Hopefully you do have a will in place. If you don't have a will in place, now's the time to get cracking. Go talk to a lawyer who can help you get a will put in place. And do make sure that you speak with a lawyer. You want to make sure that the per professional that's helping you knows what they're doing. Don't just write it up yourself. And you want to make sure if you do have a, a will that you change it now that you're splitting up because likely the beneficiaries are going to change. If you were allocating something toward your spouse, you may have changed your viewpoint on that. There might also be something when you guys split up in terms of uh, having some security for support. So you want to consider what the implications are on updating or even creating a will. And you want to talk to a lawyer about that to make sure you have all the information you need. And the final thing I wanted to talk about was the house. If you have a house in both of your names and you can foresee it might take some time to get through the issues, get through deciding what's going to happen with the house, make sure you go to a real estate lawyer and have them file a thing that's called tenants in common. What that means is if, God forbid, there's some kind of tragedy in the midst of your divorce while you're deciding what happens with the house, if you file tenants in common, it means that your share of that property goes to your estate. So if something happens to you, you can feel assured that your estate will take that property and then if you have it written up that you want it divided between your children or some other family or whatever, it's taken care of. If you don't file the property as tenants in common, what happens is the surviving spouse gets your share of the home. So now 100% share went to the spouse and given that you're splitting up, that may not actually be what your intention is. So it's really important to update your will, really important to go to a real estate lawyer who can help you file the property as tenants in common. And again, make sure you cancel anything that's joint so that you're protecting yourself, you're protecting your finances, and you're protecting any dependents that you might have. I'm Neelam Dahl of Simple Solutions Mediation. We offer mediation services, divorce coaching, personal financial coaching, and financial document preparation with respect to divorce. Have a great day.